Well, it was all out on the city of legend a few hours ago. Paris, Paris hosted the European premiere of Les Détours, the two towers, the second Lord of the Rings movie produced. This from Ian Sinclair in Paris. Once again, film stars and photo ops, and on everyone's lips, just two words, Peter Jackson. Peter Jackson, always thoroughly cash, never one for pretension. You're very determined to keep that essence of you. How important is that? What, why is that? I don't, I don't own, own any other clothes. And for those who own plenty, it's just part of his genius. I think that, that a lot of creative people are like that. A lot of creative people are just shy and not really comfortable with being seen by a lot of people. Or he is a genius. The fact that he was able to pull off these three films uh, and make them so absolutely brilliant um, over that course of time. He's made a movie that has never been seen before. Well, thanks to Peter Jackson, we were lucky enough to get a sneak preview of Two Towers, and there's just one word to describe it. More. More everything. More battles, more pace. Peter Jackson makes no apologies for putting his country on show, and over the past year, the impact has become obvious. But most people don't know where movies are made if it's not in Hollywood. And it's amazing that everybody knows that this was made in New Zealand. It's a good point, though. Thank you. So for us, the, the success was, you know, pulling this off and having the fans be proud of it and like it. And that's the, the greatest success that we could ever have. <laughs> As for Jackson, there's the satisfaction of knowing he backed the right horse, New Zealand talent. I knew how, how, how talented they were, whether they worked on Meet the Feebles or Heavenly Creatures or The Frighteners, you know, any of my early films, I just thought, you know, these people have got a great talent and with a big budget, it's going to be a lot of fun. The Two Towers is a chance for a Wellington actor to make his first epic entrance. What business? There's an elf, a man, and a dwarf having the riddle mark. Speak quickly. Carl Urban plays a fierce warrior of Rohan. I would cut off your head if it stood but a little higher from the ground. We were very impressed with him as an actor, and um, and with, with Tolkien's characters, we were always looking for people that felt absolutely right, you know, for the for what was in the book. And I, I only. Uh, um, just the way he's described, I mean, Carl just fits it perfectly. So we didn't, you know, we didn't ask anybody else. We just offered it straight to Carl. I just, uh, you know, I thank my lucky stars every day that Pete Jackson didn't do what, you know, the majority of, of New Zealand uh, directors do when they sort of reach a certain point and, you know, they go and make films uh, in Hollywood. He brought Hollywood to Wellington. We had not! Yeah! Prediction is, Irvin is also heading for greater stars. There is a bit of heat under Carl. You know, it's one of those intangible things. You 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 you, you start to realise that people are really impressed. But you yourself, I mean, you're a superstar director now. Just, what what impact has this had on your life? Oh, I haven't had a life. I don't I don't have a life at the moment. I'm you know literally every day is in one way or another spent on these movies pretty much. You know whether I'm here kind of in in Paris talking to the home show, <laughs> which is pretty weird, or I'm you know back down in New Zealand and I'm I've started cutting the third movie. Can you walk down the street? Uh, yeah, you know, I seem to get stopped and recognised quite a bit now. So Has it become a little bit oppressive? Or? Well, it's nice when people say they like the film, and that's what we make films for, obviously, for people to enjoy. But I do miss a little bit of, of, of the, the sort of anonymity. Um, it's just one of the prices of what I do, I guess, now. And I do feel a bit of exploitation. You know, I mean, I'm a filmmaker and I love to talk to journalists and things about making films, and this is all great, you know. But um, it, when, when it starts to intrude on your private life, it's just unnecessary. And there's obviously in New Zealand with, you know, things that have happened in recent months, um, you know, security is a problem, kidnappings and that, and that sort of thing. Yeah. It'd be great if, if, if we could have a private life and, 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 and then have the movie making, you know, part of it. And, and, you know, but I don't know. It's just, I just feel sometimes it, it borders on sort of exploitation and tabloid journal, journalism, some of the stuff that goes on. You know, you know what's going on? Yeah, I thought if you just ah. play that moment for us, that was what I was going to say. Yes. Yeah. This is where Jackson is based at home, experimenting in film. Example, Movie Land's first digital actor, Gollum. <laughs> You know the way to Mordor. When I started to see the Gollum shots, the, the, you know, the character of Gollum, 
uh, and I was looking at a computer generated creature that I couldn't tell was done in a computer so realistic I, I just <laughs> it was so much better than I ever thought it would be and so that's exciting in among the ranks of devilish orcs we can reveal there was another talent a certain TV presenter turned extra Paul Holmes the any more demanding certain oh, Paul, oh, Paul was great no he, I was expecting there to be a little bit of you know a little bit of a problem but he was actually very meek and mild I mean I would have had to respect him around a bit if he caused trouble but I, I didn't have to so he was alright